there are some great business opportunities in the computer vision space. But have you ever tried putting together a computer vision solution in your team? This can be quite complex. My name is Andreas, and I work in business development for Meraki Cameras, specifically around camera intelligence. And I'm joined by Caroline Matthews, AI architect at Microsoft. And what we would like to showcase is how you build an end-to-end -end solution in computer vision. So really, to go from the capturing piece in the camera all the way to getting actionable insights. The MV cameras are managed over the Meraki Cloud Platform, and this makes our solution both scalable and agile to build things on top of. And when you buy a Meraki Smart Camera today, it comes with inbuilt machine learning models to detect people and vehicles. However, there is so much more you can do with video material, so many more insights that you can get from analyzing video. And therefore, we have introduced the capability to bring external ML models onto our cameras, what we call MVSense Custom CV. And this means that anyone, customer or partner, can build their own machine learning detector and processes directly on the Meraki camera. With this capability, our customers in retail can detect different types of products, customers in manufacturing can detect defects, and in logistics, customers can understand the flow of goods, for example. Here, I also want to stress the edge processing part. So the key thing with doing image processing in the camera is to avoid streaming over your network to the cloud. This type of streaming is costly, both in terms of bandwidth and then storage, and generally doesn't scale well in high volume deployments. Edge processing alone, of course, doesn't solve any customer problems. Many customers ask us, how do I build my AI model? How do I capture the data? And where do I display the outcomes? How do I take action? So these things can be fairly complex if you don't have the right tools. So to make this easy, we would like to showcase how a suite of Azure products and tools using our APIs can bring additional value with Meraki cameras. So Caroline is going to take you through step-by-step how this can be done with the latest and greatest of what Azure has to offer. Thank you, Andreas. We are so pleased to have the opportunity to work with Cisco on this project. First, I wanna recognize the Microsoft team from America's Global Partner Solutions who worked on the solution. Nikki Connolly for devices and IoT, Alan Kleinert for data and analytics, Melody Yin and myself from the AI solution area. The Meraki with Azure AI and Analytics end-to-end -end solution expands the native object detection capabilities of the Meraki system by training and deploying custom computer vision models to the camera and in scaling up to the cloud for more advanced analytics and visualization. The demonstration we will show you today begins in the middle of the diagram with the Meraki devices. And specifically, we will focus on the on-premises MV camera system, but other devices could be deployed as well. First, we will capture a set of images for use in training the custom object detection model. From there, we move to the left and load the images captured by the camera to Azure Blob Storage. An Azure machine learning labeling project is used to tag the objects in the images and then generate annotation files, which are used to train a TensorFlow object detection model. That model is converted to TensorFlow Lite so it can be deployed to the camera on premises. Once the model is in use on the camera, we move to the right side of the diagram, and we will show you streaming the data from the devices through Azure IoT Hub to Microsoft Fabric with real-time analytics for time series data. And we will use Power BI and the latest AI-enabled features like Copilot for visualizations. Now let's see it in action. For our demonstration, we want to detect items you'd find in your pantry, like cans of corn or chili, pasta, and macaroni and cheese, so we know when to replace them if we get low. We will use the camera first to capture sample images, then use those to train a custom object detection model we can deploy to the camera, which can monitor as these items go in and out of the pantry. First, we will use the Meraki dashboard to take some screen captures of the images We'll begin with, here's a can of corn. I'm just going to screenshot it, and you'll see that that saves it off. Um, you can continue to take images this way. 
you'll want to have a variety of images where you have, in this case, just one can, but we also will want to see, here's an example with two cans. And so this gives you an opportunity to go back through and create the images you're going to use for your data set. But we also have a program provided that you can run to automate the process of snapshotting images to enable you to more quickly capture the examples required. For the next step, we move to the Azure Machine Learning Studio, a full feature platform for developing, deploying, and managing machine learning models. For the first step, we are going to upload the images we captured from the camera to a data set within Azure Machine Learning. There's an easy to use wizard to allow you to upload them, but you also can do everything through SDK or command line. For this demonstration, we used the data labeling project. Data labeling is a full featured user interface for managing the process of tagging the objects in your images for use in training the custom object detection model. The project dashboard shows your progress as you go through the process of labeling the images. You can configure settings related to the labeling tasks on the Details tab, including the option for ML-assisted labeling, which is something that we did deploy in this case. By going into the Label Data User Interface, you can then see the images that are available to be labeled. This first one has already been pre-labeled, and since the labels that are selected are correct, we'll just go ahead and submit that one. And the next image appears, and we'll see that it also has already been pre-labeled. So you go through this process, and once all of the images have been labeled, you can go back out to where you manage the export process. And you have options to export either into Azure Machine Learning objects to be used directly within the studio, or as a COCO file. Once the images have been labeled, we are ready to train our object detection model. We stay within the Azure Machine Learning Studio, but we move to the authoring area. You have several ways to build models, including with no code at all using automated ML. There's also a GUI low-code experience with Designer, but we will use notebooks for our coding environment. The notebooks are a cloud-based Jupyter notebook service where you can write, run, and share code without needing to install or manage servers directly. This is done for you within the studio where there are compute options available for both CPU and GPU. You'll notice we are using GPU to train these models. This notebook object detection model is available in the repo for the tutorial and will guide you through the entire process to prepare a train and test set of images you will download a pre-trained object detection model that's used for transfer learning to adapt for the specific objects we want to detect. And then we convert the model to a TensorFlow Lite, which is tuned for use on mobile devices like our Meraki smart camera. And then finally, we test the model within the notebook. We do a quick test of our TensorFlow Lite model where we bring in one of the images that we've used, um, and even in a rather unusual environment <laughs> on the grass, we can see that it is able to detect our objects and has a pretty high degree of accuracy as well. Now that we have our custom object detection model, we will upload it to the camera. Returning to the Meraki dashboard now, we move to the settings of the camera the Sense section, and then you'll see we have a custom CV area. Once you have enabled the custom computer vision, you will see the option to add or delete custom models. This is where you would upload your model file. We will use the most recently deployed model today. One important setting is the detection threshold, which is the probability score required for the object to be detected. In our case, only objects with a score higher than 0.8 will be detected. Now to see this in action, we're going to return to our camera feed, where we're going to turn on the option to show objects, including show details. And I'm going to start playing where we'll be able to see some objects being held up in front of the camera and the bounding boxes, as well as the class names in our case, an ID will also be shown. So you can see this first one, which is corn, and you can see the accuracy score of about 100%, as well as the parameters for the bounding boxes. 
Now there's a few others that are of interest. One, um, you can see how it actually follows the objects, but we could have multiple objects and it'll take it just a second and it is actually able to distinguish the two different classes as well as the accuracy scores, even though they're held very close together. And the last piece that is interesting, as we mentioned with that probability threshold, we have trained this model to detect very specific objects. Peanut butter was not one of them. And so you'll see here, we are still continuing to very uh, accurately predict or be able to infer that this is a can of chili, but we do not see anything for the peanut butter. To develop additional insights from the data on the camera or any other devices, we're using Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is a cloud-based software as a service solution for data and analytics that covers everything from data movement to data science, real-time analytics, and business intelligence. It's an end-to-end -end analytics service that can drastically simplify data and AI ecosystems. For this solution, we are using the Fabric services that fall in the real-time analytics lens. We have data streaming from the camera into IoT Hub, which is then consumed by Fabric's event stream into a KQL database. Fabric KQL database enables you to ingest, store, and query large volumes of real-time data. You can use KQL, a powerful query language, to explore your data, discover patterns, identify anomalies, and create visualizations. Here you can see we have a query that will help us explore the items that are found within our pantry. Now that this real-time data is available in Fabric, we can take advantage of visualization capabilities. Here's a quick sample summary of our sensor readings from our camera. So we can see how frequently things are found and we can understand more about the camera sensor itself. But also in the visualization space, the data can be used with our AI Copilot to quickly derive insert sites and further explore data in real time. In this example here, the Copilot is going to suggest several pages for a report for us. And we see they all are very relevant to the data we have coming from the cameras. It's time series data. We can see how frequently things are being seen going in and out of the pantry, even to a minute by minute uh, analysis if we wanted. But let's say we have something very specific we want to know about, which is we are going to plan our grocery trip and we want to know which items are most popular by day of the week. And what happens here is the copilot will interpret what we've said most popular into the data set that we have available. And it will determine the count of items is most likely what we mean, which in, case, in this case it is. And we want to be able to look at it by the very specific grain of the time by the day of the week. Here we see our results. It makes sense. We can see this very first one here. We're looking at our items by day of week and we can see obviously our data is inflated. We've added a bunch to make it a little more interesting. But on Friday, mac and cheese was clearly our most popular item, which means we probably need to add it to the shopping list if we're going that weekend. Going beyond just visual visualizations, observability with Fabric Data Activator can take it one step further. Here we can trigger an action off of certain results within the data. So you'll see here we have our counts of items over time and we have the option to do different types of detections. So in this case, if we get to be less than one, I'm going to be pretty concerned. I want to make sure that I'm going to replenish my pantry. And once we have set these thresholds, the streaming data is then applied. And when we hit one of these thresholds, we have different actions we can take. This could be an email or Teams message. Uh, you also have the option to do custom actions, which can be configured through Power Automate to do things like run a machine learning model, or it could be sending a message to a monitoring solution. In our case, I'm just going to send a quick test alert. And what we're going to see is we'll pretty quickly get a message back, as well as an email is going to be sent to me, letting me know then an item has been removed from the pantry, specifically my mac and cheese. So leveraging the power of fabric, we can accelerate the time to value with easy integration, fully managed services and intelligent assist to give us our full end-to-end -end solution from an onboard object detection model on a camera all the way through to being able to do analysis of the time stream data.
So what you've seen now is an easy way to build a very powerful end-to-end -end solution with Meraki cameras and Azure tools. To access some reference material, we have provided some links in the QR codes you see here. To close things off, I just had two questions for you, Caroline. First of all, how long do you think it would take for someone to build this complete chain from getting that first image from the camera to seeing the data output in a dashboard? And secondly, if I have an Emmy camera, what are the first steps to get started? Great questions, Andreas. The links provided here are the best way to get started. You can get information about setting up the camera and using the APIs, as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial. Working from the tutorial, you will have within a matter of hours, your own custom model deployed that's built from the images you've taken and start streaming data to Azure to leverage Fabric and advanced analytics. Thank you again for this opportunity to work with you on this end-to-end -end solution using the Meraki solution with the Azure Advanced Analytics and AI platform.